But I had a fascinating, very interesting field visit, uh, and just sort of as I, as I saw the the scenery, as I understood the challenge of the project, I thought, no, I should just go ahead and and uh, without any previous experience, you know, just grab my iPhone and uh, and take a few shots. And what was interesting also that initially uh, the colleagues I interviewed were a bit nervous and taken aback, but um, as we did two or three different interviews against uh, two or three different uh, backdrops, everyone actually got very excited. So I hope, and this was the main message, is that I could just show that um, even as a, um, as a generalist, as a, as a newcomer to a certain area, I think it's just worth having the reflex and trying to capture a specific moment uh, and capture it in a sense where both you would have a picture behind, uh, but someone knowing the project and having ownership of the project uh, and being able to tell briefly uh, a story. Personally, I'm very encouraged uh, that, that this material also proved uh, useful for our, um, our professionals and uh, um, it's now being edited and will be available before not too long uh, on the Capacity for Dev uh, platform. I was in Ethiopia indeed with a broader agenda which also covered, uh, covered some of the politics and some of the African Union, but I, uh, I was keen to, to visit, uh, visit the country uh, and make it an effort to have uh, three project visits which, which correlate uh, and which link uh, around the issue of uh, food security and resilience to a challenge we face in many of the other um, African countries. And luckily with Ethiopia uh, we managed to have three very different entry points but which I think all converted to one, one broader message, namely that, that resilience, the, building, the consistent building up of household assets, household security is worth our collective um, effort. And we have seen with, uh, with that and, uh, one project on productive safety net uh, production, the larger one run with a multi-million donor trust fund uh, with the government, also has, uh, has managed to reach out to an impressive number of beneficiaries. Uh, and I heard myself, uh, the very credible uh, evidence, that about a third of these families, after two, three years, they graduate from the program saying, well, thanks, we really have re-established some of the basics and then we can, uh, we can fend on, on our own. Then we managed to um, visit this in a very different part of the country, uh, in Konzo in the south. There the very uh, endearing message, um, I would almost say, is to find in a very remote place uh, in Ethiopia, uh, a village and a society which has proved to, uh, to be three, four hundred years, uh, doing very imaginative, uh, intensive, uh, productive capacity. Very much the resilient type um, aspect we're looking for in terms of, of household security, the village community, and also the, uh, the adaptation capacity. Uh, we have heard from that farmer, for instance, how easily he uh, invested first in bananas and then in different sort of trees, just with a, with a minimum of input on trying to have, have extended the uh, irrigative capacity of the area. And endearing also because it's linked to uh, the capacity development. So it's not just sort of us throwing our best knowledge out there uh, for anyone to grab. No, I think the Konzo was very much a good reference point that there's good capacity we can still capture even in the remote place of Africa and then make uh, good and best practice out of that. Uh, NGO Vita, with not too much ado, uh, they were quite able to really make a significant difference in, uh, in overcoming uh, first the initial drought and then also making quite a large area drought resilience where with only 3,500 euros for a bridge on a canal, you were able to irrigate 400 hectares. Uh, each of those hectares have doubled or quadrupled their um, production. With a marketing cooperative set up uh, at district level, uh, which started to market the produce not just only in the region, uh, but even as far as uh, Dubai, I was told. So I think that's a very reassuring uh, message overall that uh, even some of those, uh, those call for proposals uh, which have the reputation of coming up some uh, a bit haphazardly, uh, if brought into a larger um, uh, concept and uh, if also accompanied uh, by sort of a strong, strong policy paradigm uh, from us, uh, does make a lot of sense and is worth uh, is worth the effort. Yes.